Well, the dude did see me when I was showering, so maybe maybe we'll catch him with his figurative pants down. Knock knock. going on in here. Wind chimes inside. There's a map and a spear and some wind chimes and anything I can't switch to Iden here. Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> Crown. Okay. Because all ancient Navajos can write English, I guess? Let's go figure out what the heck is going on here. Giddy up! So we're looking for a crown of some sort. Figurative or literal, do not know. I don't know what uh, spirit thingy needs with a crown. Maybe it's to get rid of the spirit. So many questions in this one chapter alone. Let's just uh, keep on following the road, I guess. I have no other bright ideas. The camera's focusing on this thing. Indeed. I see shiny things. Can you see anything, Aiden? What is it? Oh, we're doing this. Okay. There's another one over here, so here it is. A hat! That is in remarkably good condition for being however many, however old it is. Probably down there somewhere. Let's go find this tree. Yep. 
yeah. Okay, I don't think the spirit thingy went through the mountain or anything, so it should just be down here somewhere, right? Maybe? Possibly? I don't see any forked trees. Uh, oh! The camera did that automatically. Ah, oh, there it is. It's over there somewhere. It's right behind that rock. The Devil's Fort. The place I saw in my vision is... Okay, what in the world's going on here? Anything on the ground look like it's shiny or... There's nothing here. Something? What's the connection? Time to bring out the bat vision here. Oh, whoa, what the heck is going on here? It's a man in a circle kind of thing. Really? Is that what we're doing here? Oh, we got dead people and a crown. Oh, look, a crown. They were killed by the entity. What's this other one? Oh, it's the shaman mask thingy. Ghosts. They were wearing these ritual masks. Last one is a crown looking thing. Maybe not. It's really small. Thanks, Aiden. I hope this isn't an Indian burial ground. I think I think that's supposed to be like really bad luck or something. Weird. This one has no talisman. for a prediction. Oh, it's time to go. It's, the entity's coming. Get home quick. So the blanket that the baby was wrapped in, in the vision, looked an awful lot like the grandma's, what's her name? Shimashai or something like that. It looked like her blanket. But, you know, as a white person, all sort of Native American blankets look alike. So, what the hell do I know? We <laughs> came here in broad daylight. We tried to get to the house. Oh. Oh, Tori, get the car! 
Come on, come on, come on, start! Start already, goddammit! He won't start, Jay! He won't start! Oh, the entity's coming back. We've got to get to the house. I don't think that's gonna help. There's nothing else we can do. My father told you you can't fight a spirit. Mine? Can? Maybe? Uh, okay, inside. Close the door? Alright, this girl. She's got the talisman, I just know it. Oh, this blanket. It's the one that was on that baby. I knew it! Mother gave it to me. Like her mother before. She also. Two. Let's do this again. Come, come on. Come on. Get up all in her face. Come on, weird glowy blue thing. There we go. This is where it all began. Need to watch carefully. Remember every detail. here. They were lost, full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit to kill their enemies and gain revenge. Turn against them. He was still hungry. Hungry for blood. Yeah, Itsu is back. He has come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they were wrong, so they returned to protect us from the evil that they released. If they brought the entity here, I mean, there's gotta be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost. I saw the ritual in my vision. I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. Okay, this, uh, this story slash game took a weird turn. I have to make a fire in the front of the house. Chop some wood. I'm gonna borrow this really quick. Uh, this is a good spot. Something to light the fire. Gasoline. Where? Wait. Okay, there it is. Now the talismans! 
I have to remember where each of the medicine man stood. He stood at each point. Oh, I guess okay. She remembers. There. That's exactly right. Okay. Now each of you needs to stand next to a talisman. There must be a soul attached to each one. Where's Paul? There's only four of us! And five talismans! We need a fifth soul to complete the ritual! This is crazy, Jody! We're all gonna die if we don't go outside right now! Uh... Oh, come on. Fuck! Fuck! We need one more soul! Oh, we need Aiden. Freaking weird. <coughs> oh, where's the where's the grandma? Jody. People have buried our dead there for many hundreds of years. For us, it's sacred land. Well then, kind of thought that would be the end of it, but apparently I was wrong. This episode is super long, or chapter rather. This chapter is super long. It's gonna be like three parts already. What happened to the grandmother? Kinda, kinda curious.
What is this place? I hope I'm not walking over graves or something. Oh man, I totally am. These are the bones of your ancestors. I'm sure they would have wanted to be buried alongside their own people. yourself. My father is with Shimasani and his ancestors. He's happy where he is. Sorry, Paul. Turned around here. Where am I? Where's my exit? <laughs> this way. Uh, I don't. Okay. Oh, octopus hands. Oh. <laughs> Messing up. I like how she just randomly carries around a box of matches. She's like a boy scout. Um, okay. We going over here? No? Symbols? Oh, look at that. Interesting plot development. So your decision is made? You're leaving? There's just things that I have to work out. Things from my past. I think I'm ready to face them now. You did a lot for us, Jody. For us and for our people. If you don't find what you're looking for, just come back here. You'll always find a home here. I'm gonna miss you. Me too. I'll never forget you, Corey.
Ashki is gonna miss you. One day I'll come back and see you. Friendly hug. Hey, Jody! You didn't think you were just gonna walk, did you? It took me some time, but I managed to get it going again. Take it. It's yours. It's the least we can do to thank you. Okay, that freaked me out a little bit. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. 